Hi guys, welcome back to the vlogs. You guys are currently balancing on lip liners right now. Um, I'm in my little vanity setup. I actually originally had this in my bedroom before, but then I decided to put it out in my hallway because it just like fit better. And I kind of love it because my shoes are on the wall. And it's like kind of become my little beauty room. So anyways, that's just a random home update. But welcome back to the vlogs. Today is, what day is it today? Today is Thursday. And I'm kicking off the vlog. I'm home for a little bit. So I thought I would do a fun little at-home vlog. It is now November. So obviously the holidays are kicking off. So I think in this vlog, I'll be putting up like my Christmas tree um, and just like really kicking off the holidays this vlog so i'm excited to take you guys along for the week yeah today like i said it's thursday and i just got ready to head out for the day um i just did my hair and makeup and alex and i are gonna go shoot my outfit and we're actually also gonna stop by the cross you guys already know if you follow me on instagram but emma's olives is at the cross for the holiday season and we're gonna go check it out i think it's like basically sold out which is crazy um and it might actually be fully sold out <laughs> But we're going to go check it out because they're also having um, a holiday sale today. And we are obviously huge fans of the cross. So we're gonna also just going to go shop there. Holiday season sale. I'm thinking of styling this headband today. I don't know how I feel about it. But I mean, Jay sent it over and I thought it was really cute. I find it hard sometimes to style my hair because I have shorter hair now. That there's not as much I think you can do with it as you can do with long hair. So I don't know. I think this headband's cute. Anyways, I'll show you guys my outfit before we head out. And yeah, let's kick off the vlog. Okay, we're here. Alice is here setting up. She's doing all the flowers. just finished setting up in the restaurant and Hotel Georgia actually gave us a room to get ready in <laughs> we're not even staying here tonight but it was just very convenient because we were obviously setting up for the past few hours that we could just hop over into the hotel get showered and all nice for tonight so I'm about to get ready this is what I'm wearing tonight I'm wearing this like cream long dress simple but chic and I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna wing it on my makeup and hair, so we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> okay, all ready to go. That was like the quickest I've ever gotten ready, but this is my dress. It's just like a long white dress. I'm wearing it with black heels. I think this is from Revolve and L'Academy. I'll link it down below. Earrings on are Heaven Mayhem. Um, jewelry is Heaven Mayhem, Tiffany's, and Ring concierge. We're gonna go downstairs quickly and get some content before guests arrive. And then it's time. We're ready to go? Yes. Let's do it. Cocktails. You guys need to follow her. <laughs> we now call you that too. And yeah, and I love a martini. These are my martini girlies, and all of the girlies are here. You guys, look how fun. We just finished eating, and dessert is about to come out. But there's like 
two full tables of all of my favorite people. You guys, look at this. Look at this, you guys. I could cry, but I'm so happy and grateful that everyone came out to support. It's so special. You guys know I was born and raised here in Vancouver, so the fact, the fact that we have a pop-up and our brand is popping up at such an iconic hotel is just like so cool to me. I don't even know if you can hear me because it's so loud, but it's just so cool. Like I literally have come here for years. Like this is one of my favorite restaurants. Hi. Oh, there's so. Hi, bye. Um, and it's just iconic and I'm just so proud and grateful. So I love you guys. If you're from Van or you live around Van, come into town, come downtown and come try the drink. We're gonna be here from November 1st to December 31st for the holidays. Such a fun girls night out, look at this. I'm literally obsessed with everybody, everybody here. I love. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. High five guy, high five guy. Good morning. It is the next day. We're back. We're back. <laughs> um, the event went so well. It was perfect. We had so much fun. All the girls were incredible and we just had like such a fun night. So it was such a success. We're so excited about the drink being available at Hotel Georgia. So it was really nice to just like celebrate yesterday and kick it off. Um, but it's the next day, like I said, we are tired. As you can probably tell, we're a little tired. We both went to bed at like 1 a.m. last night because we were doing like the Instagram stories and just like recapping the night. And obviously it was like a late night because it was like a cocktail event. Um, so we're currently just parked at Mompi 2. Yes, where else? Where else? <laughs> is what my vanity looks like currently. It is an absolute disaster, but just girly things. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's like absolutely changed my life to have this vanity, you guys. Like it is so helpful to do my makeup every day in here. I do have to organize it really bad. Okay, I clearly need to invest in a tripod because now you guys are leaning in my closet. But like I said, I'm standing around this headband, so. I thought just like a basic sweater with a little tee and jeans it was cute. I don't know. Honestly, the key to life now, you guys, is comfort. I used to always be fashion over comfort, and I think that's a sign of me getting old because now I'm sometimes more than not comfort over fashion. So, unless I'm like serving in Miami, <laughs> it's going to be comfort for me. Okay, this is the final outfit. I mean, I don't even know why I'm showing you guys because it's so basic, but it's wearing with little ballet flats and socks. I know that might not be for everybody, but it's just the way Canadians have to do the ballet flat trend, okay? Just let it happen. My little black and white Chanel. And that's, that's the look, guys. Okay, we're at this new spot. Actually, it's not new at all. I've been here before years ago, but for some reason, it's all over TikTok right now for their sandwiches, and I had no idea that they had sandwiches. The last time I came, I just had coffee. So, me and Alex saw it on TikTok, and we're like, Kate, this is where we're having lunch today. And now we're gonna taste test the sandwiches. <laughs> we are so excited. Um, but yeah, they're like famous for their sandwiches. So if you're from Van, you gotta come try. Oh, she's thick. <laughs> good. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. It's messy, it's but so good. Like so the one they're most famous for is the pear prosciutto one. Okay, it is so cold out here in Van. I really did not dress for the occasion. Um, but we just finished shooting and we got some lunch, as you guys saw. And now we are going to the cross because I know I kind of mentioned at the beginning of the video, but they're having a sale. Your girl loves a sale and I have a gift card to spend. So I'm gonna go into the cross right now. We're gonna check it out. It's all Christmassy and beautiful. It's like Christmas, literally Christmas wonderland in there. So it's gonna get us in the spirit because like I said, I'm putting up my Christmas tree this week. I'm really starting to kick off the holiday season. So this is kind of the first step in making it happen. So I'm very, very excited as you can tell.
Oh, it looks so cute. Okay, just got back from the cross, so I thought I would do a little haul of what I got before I put it all out, because some of the things I got are so cute. And by the way, if you're not based in Vancouver, they have an online shop, so some of this stuff could maybe be purchased online. The first thing I got were some ornaments, and you guys, I'm sorry, these are epic. I got a few to put on my Christmas tree. Next thing I got was some room spray in the scent Teakwood and Leather, and it smells incredible. It's by the brand Acel. Okay, and then for Christmas decor, I actually got a couple little Christmas tree, kind of like little, just some holiday decor, and I thought they were really cute, so I got three of these that are three different shapes. And they're like sparkly, I don't know if you can see. And then next up, I got this, actually I got this stunning painting. Thought it was so beautiful. And I've been looking for something like it. And it's actually canvas, it's a real painting, which is beautiful. I usually get like printed art pieces. So I thought it would go really well with this other piece that I thrifted a few months back. And I actually just realized that they didn't end up putting two of the items in our bags. So we're gonna have to go and grab, but I got a blanket and another book. But it didn't end up coming home with me and I just realized it now as I was doing this haul. So when I go get it, I will show you guys. Okay, it's a little bit later in the evening and tonight I'm actually hosting a few girls at my apartment. Um, so when I got home, I just did like a quick little tidy of the place. And then I'm actually placing an order for sushi because we're gonna have some sushi and wine and just like hang out here. And then I think we're gonna go see the new movie Priscilla. I'm very excited about. That's kind of what we're up to tonight. I changed into some very comfy pajamas. I'm actually obsessed with this collection. It's from Set Octave. It's their new um, set sleep collection. And there's these cute little bows all over it. I don't know, I'll have a link below if it's available because I'm obsessed. And it's like the softest material. It really reminds me of Skims. I have a lot of Skims sleepwear and just like t-shirts, boxers, whatever, loungewear. Um, and this is very comparable. I don't know how the prices compare, but feeling wise and like quality, it's very similar. So 10 out of 10 for me. So I have a home update. I'm such a loser for, <laughs> for saying that, but you guys know I get so excited about these things. But I got this new little tea kettle and I'm so obsessed with her. She's so cute. I really feel like she like ties the whole kitchen together. I don't know, I'm so obsessed. So I'll have it linked below. It's actually from Amazon. I was originally looking at a William Sonoma kettle that was like over $400 and I found this and it's kind of like a dupe. So I think this was like 30 bucks. So definitely a dupe for the William Sonoma and honestly just as cute, if not cuter, so. We're gonna get our diet coke. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. The movie, you guys, was so incredible. Priscilla, I'm now invested in Elvis more than I ever was. So clearly, the movie was a hit for me. You guys definitely should go see Priscilla if you haven't yet. It was really cool to see it from like her point of view. I won't spoil anything, but it was, it was really good. Anyways, today is laundry day, and I wanted to show you guys actually what detergent I use and I'm always interested in what other people use for like their detergent and soaps and like home good products I share because I'm genuinely so obsessed with my detergent and it makes my bed sheets my clothes literally everything smell so incredible it's the way and dead cool collab it's in the smell or the fragrance Melrose Place, which if you are a Way user, if you use a lot of Way products, um, that's one of their fragrances. So you'll definitely recognize it if you use it. It's just like the most like fresh smelling. I honestly have a love-hate relationship with laundry day because I actually love the feeling of fresh sheets at the end of the day. Like tonight when I get in bed, I'm gonna be so grateful for my past self for doing this, but my current self kind of hates my life because I actually hate doing the act. Of laundry so anyways i thought i'd vlog myself to motivate myself to do it because i know i'll be grateful for it later 
Also, before anyone asks, because I know every single time I wear this robe on camera, I get questions as to where it's from. Um, and it's from Love Shack Fancy. It was actually Sov's, but it didn't fit her. Because as you can see, it's like very short. And she's taller than me, so she gave it to me because it fit me. And I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. to leave for one of my first holiday events of the season. I'm very excited. I'm getting in the festive mood. I told you guys this is what the vlog was all about, is getting in the spirit. So I thought my outfit today was very festive and on brand for where I'm going. So the jacket is obviously the main event. How beautiful is this jacket? It's from Charlotte Simone. And then my skirt is just like my simple black skirt from Daniel Guizzo that I wear all the time. Um, I layered it with just like a plain cashmere long sleeve to keep me warm. And then my shoes and bag are from Chanel and earrings are Heaven Mayhem. Uh, we're gonna start off with the savories first. Um, on the top here we have salted caramel uh, marshmallows. So hints of vanilla in there, a little no salt, uh, salt caramel. Okay, we just got back from the Joe Malone event and they gifted us with some little Christmas bags. We have ginger Wait. biscuit. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's open it and get surprised, but I'm guessing. Wait. This is like My, the ginger biscuit. I, I guess it's, oh, oh, wait, that's so cute. Really perfect. <gasps> wait, so there's a bunch of things. Wait, okay, what was, this is the ginger. <gasps> wait, they gifted us like gift sets that we can yeah. gift. Or keep them for ourselves. Wait, they gifted us the fragrance. I thought it was the candle. <gasps> that is so nice. They gifted us the new ginger biscuit cologne. It's incredible, you guys. Anyway, so that's what we got in our little gift sets. And now we're gonna freshen up. Me and Soph have a reservation at this new place. Actually, I don't think it's new, but at this new bar, the spot called Jungle Room. So we're just gonna freshen up. Hi, Lulu. Hi. Um, and then head there. Okay, so since I really like my outfit today, but didn't really get to wear it, for very long because we were only at the event for like two hours. I thought I would just bring my outfit from day to night. And to do that, I just swapped out my shoes and I'm wearing my new heels from Britnetta. No, portraits just like another talent. talent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys, today is the day we're doing the Christmas tree. I'm so excited. This is definitely one of my favorite days in November. I always look forward to the day where you put up your Christmas tree because it's official. So there's a few things that I need to go out and get to execute this year's theme. Um, and I have a whole list here on my phone and we're gonna go run around the city and grab all the things we need. And then tonight T is coming over and him and I are gonna decorate the Christmas tree. So you guys already know I have a vision and a theme every single year. And of course you guys will obviously find out the theme once I start showing you all the stuff. So let's go. <laughs> As he's asking for your ID. <laughs> Okay, Christmas tree is officially up. Obviously, I haven't decorated yet. You can see behind me, the lights aren't even on yet. Um, so I'm waiting for tea to get here for that. But I am about to wrap a bunch of gifts for under my Christmas tree. And you guys, look what I'm wrapping it with. If you guys didn't know, we are launching this year Emma's Olives wrapping paper for the holidays. I'm so excited. I mean, you honestly could use this for any time of the year. We made sure it wasn't like totally holiday themed so you can purchase them for like birthdays. And if like you don't celebrate Christmas and you celebrate another holiday, um, it works for everybody. So it's so cute. They're, like I said, a trio. So there's a pink striped, a green like flower 
flannel checkered and then there's one with a design that has little olives all over it um baby pink little bows and then it says all of you all over it and there's like little martini glasses it's very on brand and very cute so yeah like i said these are going to be available on november 27th 10 a.m on our website i'll have them linked below if you're watching this by the time this is up but yeah of course i'm using my own wrapping paper this year Duh. So that is what my entire theme of my tree this year was based around were these wrapping papers so so because there are little pink bows on our wrapping paper we got inspired and look at these little ribbons you guys we're gonna place these all over the tree and then we also have again inspired by our wrapping paper we have these little martini glasses how beautiful and then i'm also putting these little like star um, ornaments and stuff so there's gonna be a few little things but the main theme of it was obviously martini themed and these pink little bows because that's just so me so anyways we're gonna get to wrapping and then officially do the trick but you guys look how cute they're literally all handmade little ribbons little bows out of ribbon i should say they're velvet fast forward it's actually the next night because t had to work late yesterday and by the time he was done we were both too tired to do the christmas tree so it's the following night and tonight we have the energy to decorate the tree i'm so excited i'm in my festive jammies it says meowy cat miss <laughs> i hate that i'm in my festive pajamas peppa's here oh peppa and the tree is looking pretty bare so we're gonna do something about that. Babe! Yeah. Okay, so I've pre-wrapped some gifts for under the Christmas tree in Emma's Olive's wrapping paper, of course, Pippa. <laughs> and so we're gonna put those under the tree, but we also are gonna put all the ornaments. I started placing a few of the bows because that's the theme, as we know. But yeah, these are the ornaments. <gasps> look how cute my pajamas look, the ornaments wasn't even planned. Mm -hmm. 